Now, um, it's with great pleasure that I welcome our next presenters. And so I'd ask you to welcome Pauline Nolan, Ellen Wilson, and you can start all making your way towards the front, um, Catherine Coff, Auntie Julie McHale, and Tanya Hood, who are with us today to talk about another really great partnership, uh, which I'm not even going to attempt to introduce. I'm going to leave it to them to do themselves. Thank you. Thank you, Auntie Julie, and thank you all for your attendance. My name is Ellen Wilson, and I manage the health promotion team at Bendigo Health. It's been our pleasure at Bendigo Health, in conjunction with Bendigo Health Community Dental Services, to work with the following um, community uh, program clinicians, Naldurun Upper Loddon, Bendigo District Aboriginal Co-op, Jar Jar Wurrung Cooperation, St Peter's Primary School, Smiles for Miles, and Harley Lee Denali Jar Jar Wurrung Linguistics on the successful implementation of providing a culturally appropriate environment to encourage Indigenous children to attend Benigo Health Dental Services and practice good oral health habits. So I'd like to introduce Pauline Nolan from Benigo Health Health Promotion, um, who le has led the project, working in partnership with Catherine Coff and Auntie Julie from Nelderun and Tanya Hood from Benigo District Aboriginal Co-op. Hello, I um, just need to work out how to make this work. Beautiful. Um, so I'm, we're here today to talk about the Borailea project. Borailea stands for child teeth. Um, the vision was to engage um, Aboriginal children in Dental Health Victoria's Smiles for Miles three key messages of drink well, eat well, clean well, and to make Bendigo Health's dental com um, community dental services more culturally appropriate to our community. Um, we do not have time today to sort of cover all the aspects of this project and all the wonderful things that have come out of it, though we will cover some of the fantastic resources developed and some key milestones, which will be looking at creating um, the Borrelia painting, the creation of the Borrelia song, uh, launching our project at Nadoc Week last year, um, naming the Borrelia clinic and recording the Borrelia song. I'll hand over now to Catherine to talk about, um, sorry, to Annie Julie to talk about the Borrelia painting. Thank you. Um, we goddesses have lots of trick up, tricks up our sleeves. Um, some of us even have tricks down our bras. Um, <laughs> the painting project um, was done at St Peter's Primary School. Uh, with the assistance of Donna Whittacombe, who is the um, Koori um, liaison person there. I went up to the school and I introduced to a group of about 35 children um, the idea of sippin' sis, crunchin' cuz and brushin' bro. <laughs> the dropping of the G's was intentional because that is um, an important component of Aboriginal English. And of course, sis, cuz and bro is what the kids throw around at each other all the time. I asked the children to draw what they thought these characters might look like. We had some mean dogs with big teeth. We had faces with rotten teeth. 
We even had a vampire. Co collaboratively, um, we chose teeth as an option. So then I asked the children, how are you going to show sipping, crunching and brushing? To, um, so they chose the symbols of water, fruit and veggies and a toothbrush and toothpaste. How are we going to make it look at Aboriginal? This one's precious. We could do black teeth. <laughs> then, of course, we're going to have the flag in the background. Um, so what I did then was I gave them a whole heap of different coloured ochre and asked them to come up with some of the ideas of their own. And I do have to say what they produced was deadly. I took their drawings home and painted the background the teeth and the water, the brush, the um, toothpaste and the fruit and veg. I copied that off what they had drawn. I'm actually much better at drawing than that. <laughs> so she says. Um, next session, I took the painting back and the children were really excited because they're all saying, oh, that's the apple like I did and that's my tooth and all that sort of stuff. So they all identified their bit. Um, Tanya Horton and David Williams from Badak attended that session and the aim here was to add the ochres. Um, David come up with the idea of using the footprints to symbolise a walking track as in we're walking to the dentist. Handprints are used fairly much all over Australia and they symbolise that we're here. There's somebody here, so look out for us. The other symbols at the bottom were um, creators that David had um, identified. We did have to paint over a small section of it because one of the paintings looked very much like a penis. Um, <laughs> the child said it, was, it wasn't a penis. It was an important symbol from his mob. However, we thought it was better to remove it. <laughs> so the painting was then finished. I think it was Pauline wrote the words, or was it you, Kath? Yeah. Kath? Catherine wrote the words on the teeth because we thought maybe people would have no idea who these um, mob were. And um, there's the result. Yeah, g'day, I'm Kath. So um, then we went to moving into the song. So Balert Leah means strong teeth. Um, Uncle Rick and I, we spent quite a bit of time trying to figure this out, to do this in language. So it actually um, first is in English and then it is in, in Jar Jar Rung. Um, and then we got it approved by the Jar Jar Rung um, Corporation. Thanks, Paul. Um, just, that it was approved. And then we, um, if you can go on to the next slide with your magic button. Oh, ah, there. So then we actually got a whole group of kids. We have a place called The Meeting Place out at um, Yapin in, in Casamain. And it's where we take, uh, it's, an, it's sort of like an educational place where we take all the Koori kids from the community, uh, secondary and primary, go out once a fortnight and teach culture. And all the families come and hang out and yeah, it's, Pretty cool. We've been doing it for seven years now. So group, the mob of the kids out there, we they all got together to do the song and that's um, being recorded onto a CD to give out to schools and to kinders. Um, something that I just wanted to, I wanted to say, we uh, really appreciate Bendigo Health having the trust in us. Um, we knew it was a learning curve for them to work with us. <laughs> um, it was pretty cool because it was uh, um, Aboriginal people and non-Aboriginal people working together. And it was also um, Shires working together. So there's the Bendigo Shire and the Mount Alexander Shire. So we thought that was pretty amazing. So we're thinking, you know, just be brave and give people a bit of a go. And, you know, talking about changing of culture um, to be open to, you know, having, letting someone else have a go at, at helping bring other people in. Um, can really work and for our kids they owned it they own the place that they, f they feel comfortable to go and they and they own the song and it, yeah, it was just really fantastic thank you hi I'm Tanya and um, this photo here is the launch 
of um, the plaque to Bendigo, Bendigo Health Community Dental Service. It was presented to um, John Mulder, the CEO, Lisa, the dental therapist, and Nadine, the trainee, Aboriginal trainee. And also Uncle Rick was there with um, Rodney Carter and from Dajo Rong, and my boss, um, Raylene Harrandine from Badak. So we're a little bit over the place. Do you want to Lucky there's two. <laughs> <laughs> um, <yeah>. So um, <laughs> then on to the launch. Uncle Rick Nelson sang his welcome to country. Um, and we used special leaves to make the smoke down on Jajarurung country. We used the manna gum to represent elders. We use the wattle to represent produce of the land and the balat cherry to um, introduce, um, sorry, to acknowledge community. The children from the meeting place sang the song um, when we were there. We couldn't smoke the area where the painting was to hang because of smoke alarms. So we smoked the painting. Led by a giant tooth, which you will see later, the painting and the entourage of guests walked along corridors. Why do hospitals have so many corridors? <laughs> into the lifts, which was interesting, getting the painting and a giant tooth into the lift. Fortunately, there were two lifts. Along came, along more corridors to the dental area. We hung the picture and then the presentation to them by our Uncle Rick and Rodney was made. Um, just to sort of follow on, as this project was finished last year, we don't want to lose the great resources. We're going to build on them. So we've made some posters that can go up so we can put them across into other services, not just at Bendigo Health. Um, We've also started on a, a healthy cookbook, which has um, been assessed by Smile Smiles in Melbourne and some dietitians. There's a visit the dentist at Bendigo Health, again using the same painting. What we're hoping is that the kids are going to see it. They'll, this book will go out to all the kindergartens. They'll see the painting, then when they come into the dental service, they'll recognise that it's really about trying to make it more welcoming and more familiar. Um, and we just wanted to say thank you. Um, we realised we're out of time. We were going to sing the song. We're not sure if we Would have you time. like us to sing the song? Yeah. <laughs> Again, <laughs> just remember we are not singers. We're doing this because we love what we're doing. I think they've already realised that. <laughs> <laughs> and we really wish we had Uncle Rick here because he sounded really great when he did his fitting language. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he's going to clap in. Oh, I will. Yep. Hang on. <laughs> Sipping sister says, what is what you drink? What does each bar I think? Bidandaran gachin guppa, bidandaran gachin guppa. Crunching Kazi says, fruit and veg is the key. What does this boy I want to see? Jacket, bullet, gaya manya jaka. Jacket, bullet, gaya manya jaka. Brush and bro and towel. Teeth grow strong. How do boy I feel when they sing this song? Bullet, Leah joke. Bullet, Leah joke. Bullet, Leah joke. Bullet, Leah, joke! <laughs> yeah, it sounds much better when the children sing it. Thank you. Shh, don't tell anyone. Okay. Well, just as it needed really no introduction, I'm not sure you can follow up with Sip and Sis and Brush and Bro and Crunch and Cuz, <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it there, although I will note partnerships again, anyone? And familiarity and the patient experience and, um, is actually emerging again. <laughs>